I'm sitting here in South Oak Bay in, in a garden, in a private garden, um, surrounded by shiny geranium, which is a new uh, arrival in our region. It's an invasive plant and uh, it's a threat to gardens. Uh, if it gets into your garden, it can very quickly take over, as you can see around me, all around here, this sort of shiny leaf plant. And it also is a threat to our native ecosystems. One of the biggest threats to biodiversity and to the survival of rare species is the invasion of exotic plants. And we're particularly concerned about this one, shiny geranium, because it has only just arrived and uh, it was first discovered here last year and we're now worried that it's going to make its way into the parks. One of the things about shiny geranium is that it grows well in both very sunny locations and also in very shady areas. This garden that we're sitting in right now, according to the owner, they first noticed shiny geranium about three years ago. And this is the result of three years um, non-treatment. So you can see it's really taken over. It's, it's, a, it's a rapid spreader. So we're hoping that um, we can get people throughout Oak Bay and anywhere else in the region to keep an eye out for this plant and to report it if they see it. Um, and to do that you need to be able to identify it. So I'll just show you here how to ID the plant properly. I think the first thing you'll notice is that the top of the leaves are shiny, uh, but that's not necessarily an easy one, an easy characteristic to spot. Um, the other way is to look at the stems. The stems are somewhat turgid and almost succulent. There are a couple of lookalikes, one of which is the dove's foot geranium. So here I have in my right hand the dove's foot geranium and in my left hand the shiny geranium. You can see the, the leaf shape is very similar and you can sort of see one is shinier than the other but again it's not an easy thing to use as an ID. What I do is I look on the other the under side of the leaf and in the dove's foot geranium, the one that we don't worry about, uh, you'll see minute hairs, almost like a fuzz and then also along the stem. The shiny geranium, on the other hand, has no hairs, absolutely none. And both will go a little bit red. The shiny geranium will go quite red when it grows in habitat or in, in an environment that's not super favorable. So here we have uh, some plants that are going red because they're in an area that doesn't get a lot of rain and also it dries out quite quickly and also a lot of sun. So the stems go much redder, but here, most of the stems here are quite green. We're in the end of April. Starting about May, the shiny geranium will go to seed and that's what you want to prevent. You do not want this plant to go to seed. Uh, it produces lots of seeds. And so you want to be able to pull this out before it goes to seed. It's an annual, meaning it grows every year from seed. It doesn't, it doesn't persist next year. It just regrows from seeds. So it's quite easy to remove. It's just a, if you pull it out, you can see here you have the plant and just this little tiny root. And as long as you get this part out, you've killed the plant. And so you can actually go in here and just remove it like this, making sure you get all the little roots out. And that's all there is to it. You don't want to put it in your compost, just in case there's some seeds in it. And if you have trouble IDing it, you, you, you're not sure if it's shiny geranium or dove's foot geranium, just take a picture and send it to shinygeranium at gmail.com. And I will look at your picture and tell you what you have. I'm standing here in front of an area that we cleared last May. Uh, towards the end of May um, and this is what the area looked like last May and you can see a lot of red happening here and you can also see the pink flowers of the shiny geranium which you can't see right now because it's too early uh, but we were too late coming here because it had already started shedding its seeds so you can see these what we see in front of us 
are all plants that have grown from the seed bank. And we don't know exactly how long the seeds remain viable in the ground, but we know for at least a year because this is probably from last year. And then this is what it looked like when we were done last May. So you can see it's really um, come back. Not as bad, but it's hard to say because it does, it will continue to grow. It will continue to get quite big. And the other thing I'd like to point out is that the size of the plant varies greatly. So you can see in the shadier areas where there's more moisture, the leaves are really big, the plants are very robust. And you'll also find them growing in places like this on the edge of a rocky wall. And the plants become redder and smaller, but they still produce lots of seeds. Try to remove them before you see the pink flowers and then come back, you know, three weeks later and look for any that you might have missed. This is an example of why we're extremely alarmed and worried about this uh, shiny geranium because it started off in the garden and if you look onto the rocky outcropping here, you can see there's like a river of it going up. Those plants go all the way to the top and at the top there's Walbrand Park which is a, you know, a beautiful Gary Oak associated ecological community. It's all on the moss, so it's hard to see right now, but later on in the season when it starts to go red, it's really evident. We actually first noticed it growing up um, King George Terrace. And uh, so, you know, keep an eye open for it wherever you are and uh, send me pictures again at shinygeranium, all one word, at gmail.com.